So my name is Deirdre Murphy and I am a painter based in Philadelphia. So over the last like probably decade, decade and a half, I've been interested in bird migration and climate change. And so the work has dealt with flocking, um, murmurations, looking at the kind of collective consciousness of a big flock of birds, and murmuration is the term for that, and kind of thinking, making a correlation between um, kind of avian intelligence and human behavior. Um, and so the, the work then looking at like why birds flock and what, you know, the, the kind of the, the migratory seasons that they flock, that then research led me to climate change and how climate change is really affecting um, the migration patterns and the health and well-being and the species um, themselves. Certain species are in decline or becoming extinct because of climate change. And so um, it's really, I guess I'm on my second decade now of um, tirelessly really learning and pursuing um, you know, that theme and then through collaboration with scientists, with ornithologists and behavioral biologists, and now neuroscientists, um, it just keeps, I keep going on that theme and then keep going deeper. I think that art and science are incredibly similar. My father is a hematologist oncologist, so I grew up in the lab. Uh, he was looking at blood in the microscope trying to cure cancer. And I would go in there as a little girl, you know, feet dangling on the lab stool, and I would draw on Saturdays when he would do his experiments. And um, I think at that early age, I didn't click until probably after undergrad, but looking in the microscope at these abstract shapes called blood cells. and. Um, plasma and things like that, that I, um, I didn't make the correlation that, oh, those are abstract shapes and that are in our bodies. And then there are these abstract shapes on canvas too. I think that like working with scientists, uh, has enabled me to broaden my art language, um, and then kind of broaden my theme as well. So I, and I think that for me, working with scientists is really important because I learn a lot more and my research is, is a lot deeper, but I can also reach a larger audience. I'm just thrilled and honored to be part of this show. I think that uh, being in a three person, um, all women show about um, art and climate change um, is really powerful. And it's a wonderful way to start out the academic year. I think that, you know, hopefully with the pandemic, we're turning this corner um, and that this show, um, I think, can shed a lot of light on where we are right now as, a, you know, humanity and um, hopefully bring a lot of beauty and, and hope um, and kind of inspiration um, to the student body. From this exhibition, I'll be working with the Shavers Creek Environmental Center and with their Nest Watch program um, because I'm, you know, this is the body of work that I'm working on now is all about bird nests and, and climate change. And so, you know, working with Penn State with um, your ornithologists and behavioral biologists, it's just really exciting because now I get to be the student because of this exhibit and learn more from you know your professors and scientists um, so you know it's just a it's a continual journey so i'm just very thankful and honored to be part of it